So, last time we left our group, we met with a, a, some with some new adventurers who were sent to this island to obtain something of great value while taking care of the necromancer. When meeting up with this new group, they decided to join in on the fight that was happening. It was going relatively well until they bothered someone in their sleep and nearly died. As a result, one of them did die, but was brought back because of rules. Must be kind of a kind of a dick move to kill a kill a player during this first session. <laughs> well, unavoidable death during this session. Anyway, um, you guys head out in the same direction, deciding to join forces. Eventually, finding that you guys are getting a little bit tired, decide to hamper up in an old warship. A slaver ship that belongs to a very familiar group, to Rita, known as the Patrons of Hope, where she called me a jerk face because she found out what I was planning. <laughs> Rio, not her character, because her character still doesn't know. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Anywho, you all, Sam in particular, you sense a very evil presence coming from below decks. You still decide to sleep, but take shifts while this is going on. During your shift, Sam, you see um, a Wendigo on the hunt. Um, he hunted down and killed a goblin who was on the run. Mm -hmm. The Wendigo didn't seem to notice you at all. As we come back to the story, it is still heavily nighttime. Sam, you're currently still on your shift, watching the very thick swamp trees sway slightly in the wind. It's very quiet. No, as the Wendigo is passing like across your vision, you notice that there are no there are no sounds coming from the forest around you. No bugs, no night sounds whatsoever. Just nothing. It's complete and utter silence. Uh, so Sam becomes a little bit like more uh, wary uh, as he he's he doesn't cast it, but he he's like ready to to cast this produce flame at like anything happening. Basically, you notice that this Wendigo is considerably bigger than the one you met before. Uh, like twice as big and it does not it like you see it like halt in the middle of like it crawling through the trees and notices you on top of the deck and it just moseys in on its way going through its own path uh, as soon as the windigo leaves uh it starts to leave uh sam sighs in relief it kind of patrols the area a little bit more um perception doesn't go too check again okay Ooh. Huh? Um, you're not seeing anything. However, with your perception ship, you're not seeing any like any like hostile movements whatsoever. Just silent. Um, you start to relax a little bit more as the sounds of the night kind of return. As the Wendigo has left the area, whatever night sounds um were supposed to be around you feels safe to mar start making noise again. You hear a slight sound of cicadas in the distance. Every so often you hear a owl hoot. Um, you hear hissing noise, which would indicate there's somewhere near here. There might be a, a large snake, but pretty much nothing else happens on your shift. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Sam kind of just tends to the fire a little bit, you know, preventing them from di dying out in the middle of the night. And then he goes... Uh, does the shift uh, take over and then goes to sleep or trance? Who was um, next? Uh, that would be Tocklin. Tocklin. Okay, you yes. take up the shift. Yep. And I need you to make a perception check for me. I, I don't know why it's rolling like that, but it is. 13. Yep. Okay. As you're just taking up your watch, you like get settled in, like you sit on a little makeshift like seat, kind of inspecting the area around you. It's kind of like just on a big crate on the ship, minding your own business. You all of a sudden hear a skittering sound, um, which you see what looks to be um, a spider, big spider, um, sort of like skittering down the trunk of a tree. And then all of a sudden it just like gets gobbled up by a um, snake 
Snake sees you, goes back up the tree. Relatively quiet thus far. First hour in, nothing major happens. It's relatively quiet, you know, typical noises of the night. Uh, another perception check, please. Oof. Um, midway in, you just, you're not hearing anything. You're not seeing anything. You're getting bored out of your mind. I'd probably be heavy into the drink. I'd probably be drinking. <laughs> it's to keep warm by the fire. Well, um, tube, you're drinking from your special wine skin? Yeah. I'm not drinking like heavy drinking. I probably should respect that. It's more of I'm sipping at it. Right. It is a very strong drink. Um, you can tell um, this kind of alcohol is meant to be sipped like you're supposed like you're doing right now. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with alcohol content in some alcohols, but this alcohol is at least 70 proof. Oh, that's OK. That's the yeah, that's sipping alcohol. That's it. That's if it was whiskey, it'd be a sipping whiskey specifically. Um, it's very nice to the taste, you know, it's very strong, very thick, kind of warms your bones as you sip it. One last perception check for me. OK, 14, 14. You hear a loud screeching sound abruptly out of the blue. Um located abruptly just right below you like at the base of this big derelict slaver ship uh was it were the from the place where we expected something to that was in the ship no it's uh, oh, uh it's just outside of the ship it's by and it's the going, ship. you're breaking you're you're peeking your mic so we're not hearing anything oh it's going <laughs> uh can i roll what would I roll for that shit? Can I roll a survival check to see if I know what that is? Ah, uh, that I think that would be more of a nature check, honestly. Okay, well, trying to check what species it is. I think well, it's more. I, I was looking for more if it was a hazard to us, not a. Ah, what it okay, was. yeah, that would be a survival. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> ten. Well, you didn't need that much actually. Um, you look down. And you realize it is literally the most annoying animal on this planet. It is a creature known as the frugal fish. Incredibly hard to kill these things. Incredibly annoying. They shriek regularly out of the water. They can survive months on end out of the water. And it somehow found its way out near your your ship and it's screeching up a storm. I just shake my head and just go back to the fire and just try to ignore it to the best of my ability. <laughs> In silence. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to, as I said, I tried to ignore it to the best of my ability. So if I'm not hearing anymore, it's not a problem to me. Right. All right. Um, right. Let's see here. Well, it comes to the end of your ship. Shift the English. Um, and you go to wake up the next person, which is who? Talkling. I want to know because I thought uh, Captain Charles was the one who'd be taking over, and he's not here. So yeah, yeah. it was supposed to be Captain Charles. Yep. Okay. So yeah. I'll go make to. rolls for him. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, because yeah, I had taken uh, two shifts, and then yep. you, and then Captain Charles yep. will tag you out both literally and figuratively. As he takes up his role, I'm going to make a perception for him. That's a natural 20 for him. Let me just change into him just for posterity's sake. So um, as it's getting closer and closer to morning, um, he's basically doing his job. He's scanning. Nothing happens. All you awake with a long rest in the morning. I would have explained it very more much thoroughly, but he's not here to hear it. So I'll keep that information to myself until I can update him on what he saw and all that good jazz. So uh, as I wake up, I'm going to kind of have an epiphany for Talklin. Talklin's going to have an epiphany and start kind of scratching into the blade of the great axe that he found, uh, what looks to be runes, into both sides of the axe head. So one side will be a rune carved, uh, and then on the other side will be a, another rune that is carved that is uh, different from the other one. Um, so just for the sake of that way, you know, I now have uh, a fire rune and a cloud rune engraved into the axe head. Because Epiphany, ye. 
As uh, Sam wakes up, he uh, first thing he does is uh, he tends to fire once more, bring, brings it up, you know, to make uh, some some good breakfast for the day. At least the best breakfast we can hope for. I mean, we could reheat the like soup that we made last night. Yeah, add in a little bit of uh, fresher meat, spice it up a little bit. Okay. So we would be getting our food. While you're trying to refresh the soup, Rita is probably pulling out some leeches and eating them. As she's hungry to her stupid illness, she has to eat double ration. I, that. I did not. <laughs> I mean, I have my mark. It all does is keep me from having a charisma check, so it's like, fuck it. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, sorry. No, I was just going to say, uh, uh, Sam, uh, make sure to uh, serve in a little extra scoop for, for Rita as well. Sees her suffering. Oh, she doesn't look like she's suffering. She just looks like she's hungry, but she doesn't mind. She'll take it. Um, could I get Arcana checks from Sam and, and Silas, please? Not to win <laughs> Oh, <laughs> natural. Gosh. Wow, that, that's opposite sides of the fucking spectrum right there. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, so. I know everything and you know nothing. <laughs> Hey, I, I'm oh, I'm over here making food, you know, just... Yeah, I'm you're distracted with, 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 with a good soup. Yes. Yeah. Good soup. Uh, Silas, um, you, um, when you woke up this morning, you, uh, you have been paying close attention to, like, whatever entity or whatever it was, that evil presence down in the bottom of the, um, of the ship that has stayed in one place. And you noticed that during your sleep, it has moved. To where? It seemed to have moved up a level, but it's also in the same exact spot that mm. it was on the third. So it's either like some, it's either just moved to the upper, the floor, upper floor for a reason, or it's growing through the floor? Uh, with your arcana check, you know that it, whatever this entity is, or whatever the fuck this evil stuff is, it managed to find itself to, um, it managed to teleport itself up to an upper floor. Okay. Hmm. So potential teleportation abilities, got it. Yeah. So I was just doing a quick check on the presence. That's all I guess. You're going to yes. check, yeah. check, check on it? Not, not by himself, no. Uh, if I would, if hmm, would I notice this kind of thing for like him acting differently or well, no, I, yeah, would I notice Silas act differently from finding this information out or I uh, as well, don't as well, as well, know that all depends on him. Yeah, okay. Silas goes, hmm. I don't know if anyone has noticed, but I believe the our friend downstairs has gone up a level. Oh, really? Uh, no, uh, I haven't noticed yet, but uh, I mean, I can I can do a ritual so I can keep a track on it. Uh, take a couple of minutes. Well, this doesn't mean we're going to confront or com com confront it after after a nice breakfast. I don't think tracking it is really going to be necessary. But right. it could be useful. But yeah, be on the safe side. You, if you say it's moved already, what's it to stopping from moving again? So, uh, and as uh, I I kind of finish with uh my my breakfast a little bit i start ritual casting detect magic again just to be on the safe side mm. yeah i'm going to do ritual cast detect magic as well just to be safe um mm. for each of you what uh, what is your uh spell casting ability intelligence wisdom i need you to make your own respective saving throws <laughs> okay 10 12. Okay. I should, I should probably say this to me sometimes with advantage. Oh. You are hit upside the head with this. T with Since you are able to detect its magic, you can, you can tell that this necrotic based entity is very much of the intention of wanting to communicate, mm -hmm. even though it is evil it is wanting to try to communicate whoever just invaded uh this sort of area it seems to oh the magic seems to very much desire to communicate to whatever just intruded hmm. it's interesting i i feel as, as if uh, our friend seems it's gonna be pretty chatty well, oh, let's go have a nice conversation let's be careful though is uh sam Put, uh, pulls out a dagger uh, and holds it in one hand as well. 
And and I turn to the I'm I'm always careful. I turn to the rest of the group and I kind of relay the information of um, of uh, the 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 evil entity wanting to communicate. Okay. Oh, how how many of you are decent conversationalists? Out of character, he's asking who, who's uh, got no. You got hear you you hear talking goth at that. Like, Rita why would I have just, these words? Rita just gives you a dead hand stare. Most of my conversations end with somebody being manacled, so I wouldn't say I'm a great conversationalist. Right then, I'll I'll go talk with them alone. Uh, no, I'd no. fall behind him at that point. Yeah, no, not, a, not alone. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> You sort of ask for prostitutes. <laughs> no, if he starts walking no, away, I'm gonna go on his own. Like, hmm, so he knows, is, I know, so I'm have a, a one conf- confrontation with it. No, 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 I'm bringing my meat shields. Uh, so Silas and Tocklin are going, correct? And Sam. Sam, okay. So the is everybody rest. pretty much going? Uh, no, Charles is staying behind. Oh. Because he can't say otherwise, because he's not here. Yes. Well, as it is, we all try to go if we can. He was like, I'll, 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 stay, I'll stay back just in case, you know, to protect the little one. He flips him off. Oh, fine. If you, all right, fine. Then you wait, you wait here, and we'll go confident into the potential horrifying evil downstairs. A bit of uh, a delightful trip. <laughs> All right. Um, so you head start heading downstairs, and as you like meet the part of the stairs where like it starts going below deck, you instantly feel like but he's watching. You feel uh, you you feel like people. Uh, it's watching you. So I'm gonna pull you guys over here, okay. and now you are in the lower decks. Hmm. Lady. Can yes. I please see so the viewers can see? Uh, yeah, I don't see shit either. I, I see pulled shit. on your new tokens. Well, yeah, they I should can be working. See, but yeah, I can't see Rita's token. I'm yeah, not okay. there yeah. because I wasn't pulled okay, along. Okay, so as a disclaimer, whoever the fuck is watching, Rita's not actually there. Yeah, oh, there sorry. Go. There you go. There we go. No, wait, Rita didn't come down with us, didn't she? No, 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 she did not. But she needs to see for the sake of the viewers out there. Okay. I just don't know if it's possible to make her character invisible. No, but we can just pretend she's not, she's not there. Yep. Well, if he's not coming, then the the mind. Woo. <laughs> yeah. If if he's not coming, then I was to say, okay, well, you wait up here. If you hear screaming, probably best to go check on us. You know. I'll laugh. I'll try to make as much of a commotion I can as well. If if we need help. I mean, assuming assuming uh, assuming this thing is as evil as it seems. I don't really have an, op- an option in making a lot of noise, really. So, as you go into the <laughs> darkness below, <laughs> which is surprisingly dark, hmm. um, you feel a voice enter into your minds. Well, hello there. Greetings. Sam, as soon as that voice enters, just grabs his dagger a little bit tighter. I'd be brandishing my axe. So very interesting. It's been a while since I've seen so many people on this ship. It's been a while. Well, so so, so you are a resident of the ship? No, I am a prisoner. Hmm. Well, the only is that you're the only survivor, so they're, by, by, by default, you're the, you're the only resident. I want that. Well, first things first, let's not be rude. Some introductions. I am Silas Tideal. What is your name? Hmm, so polite. Well, when I was created, I was never given a name, so you may call me unknown. <laughs> created, well, you say? <laughs> yes, one day I just simply was born. Aren't we all? Well, now, it would. T- Tell me something. Why are you here in to be fair, these I could swamps? Ask, hmm. To be fair, I could ask you that very same question. I'm here because, unfortunately, I was tempted by something and they captured me. Captured you? Why, the slavers aboard this ship? Fair of course, they just... died a horrible death because of me, but... Ah, semantics. Hmm. I wish to be free so I can continue my mission in life. Hmm. Well, that does raise two questions now, doesn't it? The first of which would be, what is keeping you here? And two, what is your mission? Answer well, the first question is, if your head just 
a little bit farther to your to your left, you'll see some doors, which is right over here. Okay. Uh, so, oh, oh, okay, I'll take a wolf second. So, like, over here. Yep. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be one step yep. back. Right over there. Yeah. You see, as you uh, come closer to door, the dark, you kind of, your eyes adjust to the darkness, and you notice that there is a magical seal on the door. I am oh, trapped in this room, and the room connecting to the bottom of this room. I cannot exit unless someone lets me out. To answer your next question, my mission in life is to kill people for my lord that I have been sent to kill. All right, third question then. I, yeah. Who is, who is your lord? My lord, Asmodeus, the king of the nine hells. Well, he raises an eyebrow at that. Oh. So, what are, so, what are you then? Some kind of fiendish undead? Oh no. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Odd thing to wish for? The manifestation of Asmodeus's evil thoughts, evil desires, and the dark desires in human hearts. I am, should you say, an assassin called Asmodeus, and I have been sent to kill someone, which I intend to do, but I can't do it here. I can promise you that I haven't been sent to kill any of you. I can't sense his magic on any of you, which is disappointing. Mm. Sir, the will of all evil is stuck in a, in a metal box. It is hilarious. Unfortunately, I was sealed by a god. So unfortunately, I can't break it on my own. What do you think that we can? Because you're humans, mortals. The gods always leave failsafes for their beloved mortals so they can break seals when they need to. Well, oh. in all this conversation, you still haven't given us a reason of why we should help you. Mm. Is guaranteeing your lives not enough? What the fuck just happened to my character upon? I what don't do mean? fucking know. I think it got deleted, maybe? That was weird. Okay. What do you mean guaranteeing our lives? I mean, for example, if you give me your first names, I don't need last names, I can guarantee your lives. Put you on a list of non-killables. By you? No, for my lord Asmodeus. Ah, so... I would not be able to kill you without his order. That's less, that's less of an incentive and more of a threat. Is it a threat? Oh, how... Oh, let me think. How could... How could... Oh, if you let me out, I will take your names off the list of people to be murdered. I didn't say that. I said I would be put you on a list so you would be killed. You were never on a list to begin with. It is a very small list. And I must complete it, you see. Hmm. You're not making the best argument for your release, I'll be honest. The only real thing is, like, we won't get murdered. But we also won't get murdered if we just leave you here. You see the conundrum? Oh, yes, but I can still influence you. I may be confined as a person, as an entity here, but my magic is still free. Hmm. I do not want to resort to such measures. I'm not pure evil, mind you. No, just the manifestation of, of the, god, the, the god of all evil's murderous will. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. Hmm. Well, excuse me for a moment. He walks, oh, uh, walks over this this way, like, uh, gesturing for the other two to follow him. I don't trust okay, him. So we're not, so, okay, so what the hell? <laughs> Why is there a demon in a box? I is mean, it's a slaver you. ship? Also, don't think about, what, don't, also, don't think about your, what you're saying. They can read your minds. Just... Keep, keep your minds off what you're saying. Yep, we're on you might want to go further. I can still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> they instantly go to the house. It's just, it's just a, a dead sprint. Just <laughs> just like quickly sidesteps over. <laughs> this is hilarious. The, the awkward okay. shuffle. Okay, now try to keep it quiet. Okay, and keep, keep your voice quiet. And your thoughts of of your words. Don't think think about what you're saying. What? Now, assuming you can do that, what the hell are we going to do about this? 
I feel like we just say, no, we're not going to let you out. It's going to try to force us. I mean, we could also try getting more concessions out of it. Concessions? Uh, items of power, uh, a contract of some sort, uh, help really in the future. But from a demon uh, well, if or it's a devil? devil it'll f well, if it's a devil, it'll follow a contract to a T. It's part of yes, its job. But was, yes, but you forget one thing. There, with, a, with a devil, it's never simply, oh, do this and I'll do this. It's always... Oh, you do this, but if I do this, it makes me, me means you're fucked. I leave this to the smarter mind. I'm just offering reason why we could do it. Now, I, mean, I don't think we should, but if you can get more things out of it, but that's still okay. Let me just put this the, way. This the is assumption this way. that we're gonna unleashing a the murderous intent of an evil deity. Does that sound like a good evil. idea to you? I never said it was it's a just, good idea. I just said it was an idea. Fundamental level. Just think about it for five seconds, like. I said, I, I, I said it's an idea, not a good idea. I, I definitely am for the idea that we lock it up even more and bleed. Hmm, actually, size is always like things. Actually, that's not a bad idea. If we, it's said that uh, the, the lock can be opened by mortals, but what can be locked, unlocked, can also be locked. Problem is, we have to get them put it back in the box. No, but like the thing is, it's already in the box. Yes, but if we let it out the box, then we have to somehow put it back in the box. No, 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 no. You're missing my point. If it's if there's a seal that is locked, and the morsel can affect the lock, I might be able to. Actually, I'm going to do an arcane. Okay, actually, I'm going to do an arcane check on this. Uh, can I do an arcane check to see if Silas could potentially increase the power of the lock? Give me an arcana check. Hmm. That one. Oh, um, <clears throat> I cannot tell you anything. <laughs> okay, oh, so no clue. Okay, fair. It was a natural one, so I can't tell you what you desire to know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the thing. It's only really a theory. It might be a possibility. I have no real clue. But if we were to say pretend that we're going to uh, to unlock it and then use that as a point to get close to the lock and lock it further, that might be a Option. Maybe we can hit enough so that it can't overpower our minds with whatever magic it has. I mean, we may leave freely. True. And uh, I think uh, I, I have a certain set of magic that uh, I can create a physical ice barrier if we have enough water. Um, so that even even if it does try to force us to it, I could put up that barrier, potentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's out of my ex areas of expertise. I fix ships and drink mm -hmm. alcohol. I, I feel like... You have knowledge of ship structure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more time, you kind of came out broken. You said you have knowledge of ship ship structure. Well, yeah, that's what a shipwright does. Do you know what room it's coming to be locked in? Then, like I said, you can only go go to this floor and the one below it. What what would be behind those doors from your knowledge of ship structure? Uh, what would I roll for that, DM? Ooh, that would be a history knowledge check with advantage because that would be your field of expertise. Okay, fifteen. Because I fifteen. Let's see here. Let me see. Okay, so as a shipwright, you had to study under um, people who would teach you how to shipwright properly, and they would teach you the different types of ships. Unfortunately, yes. you also had to study the evil parts of ships, which are slaver ships. This one in particular is a is a what is known as a um, a, a schooner class which is capable of holding a lot of um, slaves, but not so much food. So that way the slaves come back weaker, you know, they can get a cheaper price, you know, all that good stuff. You know that typically with those rare places, the third and second floor are connected. They are sort of the captain's quarters, a safe place just in case the, um, the uh, slaves rioted. Who so I'd be handing this information off to the person who's our dev our devil, I guess, expert in this case. Not being oh, racist good one. So it's locked in the wait, it's locked inside the captain's quarters? Uh yeah. It in might be in place? uh it might be in mm. We just, know it's we're hearing it's mine, not its mm. actual voice. Yes, I know, but well, that would mean it would be well, that could possibly be one of two things. Either A it was a guest, it was some kind of guest on the ship or so at some point and kept it kept there because because and kept inside and became a seal inside there later on. Or whoever locked it locked out of desperation. Like it would they didn't they didn't they didn't uh, specifically go in that room to lock them in because I mean why would you if you wanted to use a ship why would you lock it inside the captain's quarters? Or it would be the most secure and safe location. 
on this whole ship. Mm. You know, so it's one of the this is a slaver ship. There's plenty of pla- places to keep someone locked up for, for an extended period of time. Yes, but it's nowhere as strong and or well about more easily guarded than I guess Captain Tour would be. Yeah, yeah you would know as a, as a shipwright, typically on a slaver ship, the captain's quarter is a laid in with solid iron throughout like the inward uh, walls. So that way, even if like the slaves broke through the um, wood part, they wouldn't break through the iron. So yeah, it's a very safe place. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, I see you, Rita. I gotta be doing something during all this. Yeah. Well, get me, get you get your fingers off me, off me money. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> oh, money. But yeah. So, so I was like walking back and forth, thinking at the moment. All right. It seems that if we try, if we just say, uh, if we just try to leave it here, I don't doubt it's gonna just let us. If it killed the crew, four, it might be able to kill us as well. Uh, probably very true. So, no, best option is to try and make it potentially deal. increase the lock. That or make a deal. Hmm. That will make a deal, I, but... I don't trust it for <laughs> enough to make a deal with. No, I neither do I. Like, it's only an, it's, only, it's only desires to kill. I doubt it's going to be necessarily reliable. Uh, so, I want to... Is there any, like, uh, sizable amount of water uh, nearby? I want a boat, so... Uh, you're currently in a boat that has been landed in the middle of a swamp. There's no water on the boat, but there is water all around you, let me tell you. Yeah. Okay, so I'll I'll start getting ready. Uh, So uh, I'll start pulling some of the water uh, with shape water into uh, nearby just for uh, use. Okie dokie. Uh, like I said, I, I can create a, a physical barrier of ice uh, that um, uh, if I can put it up, it'll physically prevent us from touching that, or if he tries to force us. At least mm. I, I believe it, it would work. Well, let's wait and see. Oh, well, wish, me, wish me luck. Good luck. Adam hard on the back. As I was going to go over and try to carefully approach the door and try to examine Hello it. Hello again. Uh, greetings. So I've been just talking about it, thinking about a few what things. What is your chat? Uh, not quite. I would like. I would just like to try to examine the lock a bit. Try to understand understand exactly how to break it. If 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 if. if Deception. What? Deception. You're trying to deceive the ca- the the creature into saying like you're doing something yeah. when you're truly yeah. not. Okay. Not bad de- deception. Uh, any way to increase it? Do I have any way to increase it? No. <laughs> okay. Deception. Let's go. 18. That's, Ooh, that's very good. Mm-hmm. You hear a long pause behind it. Oh, by all means, go ahead. Oh, thank, you, thank you for your consent. Uh, so I was just going to carefully go up and tr- examine the law, uh, examine, uh, examine the seal. Okay. Mm-hmm. So for an examination of the seal, I'll need mm-hmm. either one of your spells or an arcana check. One of the two to see whether or not you can dice, decipher what it means, or how to correctly do what you are desiring. I have a good con, so I'm gonna play it safe and use up a spell slot. Oh wait, uh, I do have, wait. I do have identify. If I works on magic object, like if this seal, this seal might qualify as a magic object, depending. Showed it's holding back the embodiment of a devil's spear yeah. or magic imbued object. Yeah, this magic is a magic object, yeah. imbued object. This is a okay. Door. So you identify to, to, to get information. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see that this was indeed cast by a, one of the pantheon. Um, specifically, um, you can see that the leftovers of um one particular uh one particular um, sea god, Poseidon, has okay. left his mark on this ship uh, to seal this beast away. Um, as you are examining it, since you are identifying this seal, mm-hmm. uh, you and only you are going to see this projection of, of this god. Abruptly, as you are examining the seal, you mm-hmm. see an image of the god who um, cast the seal. As I'll reveal to you, okay. Poseidon, in all of his glory. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, he is said, for those who seek to release this beast, I bid you to not 
This vicious beast, his goal is to kill and rampage against the royal families. His desire to kill these people was sent to him by none other than Asmodeus. For any mortal who is currently looking at the seal, I beg of you, please abandon this place. They said the royal so families. Far from here. Oh, I they don't thought. Um, yes, yeah, so he said the royal families. Who would those be? Um, uh, the royal family is mm -hmm. um, is a family of well, one of them is a seraphim. Not sure if you're familiar with the term. Um, uh, seraphim so are a six-winged angel, <laughs> and the queen is a higher devil, and they have a child. It was a sort of a peace negotiation between the nine hells and the royal family. The royal family consists of angels and usually people of higher um, living like high elves and you know people um you, you know um the tough people fucking um uh, i'm blanking on the name i'm blanking on the name the, the angel race and D, &D i'm blanking blanking asmar uh, yeah asmar asmar, asmar, th asmar <laughs> thank you um they're typically seen the highest of the most high but these people typically don't usually look down on people but apparently this entity was sent on an assassination mission for reason. Yeah. Apparently, uh, from what you were understanding from Poseidon, he was meant to kill one particular entire part of the royal family. Um, Assuming the angelic half to make it to the to the fiend to the fiendish the fiendish uh, half that's left can take take over under that's his will. That's what you can probably guess. <laughs> So that's just size. It's good. More political espionage. Yay. All right. Let's see. Uh, is the projection interactable at all? Like, can I ask it questions or is it just info dump? Well, as you are looking at it, uh, you see that the, that the projection has stopped and you see it like glitch for a few seconds and it looks up at you. Well, well, well. I was not expecting to see it evening. I see that you found one of my many seals. I am a conduit of Poseidon. Speaking of what would be a bad idea and thinking this thing will get to hear our thoughts. So, so this is just going to so this is just going to nod. I don't want to give too much away. So I see that you found this entity known as the Phantom. He nods. And now you know it's real name. Yeah. Which to be fair with the devil is quite quite useful information. Yep. So this is just going to... The Phantom is notorious for being the main hitman of the Nine Hells. What you should know about this creature is despite it being the most brutal hitman of all the Nine Hells and its desire to kill the royal family, it does honor its word, it seems, mm. to the letter. Ooh, so I wasn't gonna, so, so was gonna say anything or like do anything like that. But so he's gonna take out his notebook, assuming this thing can see since this thing can identify as a tiefling, that means it might be able to see. Yeah. So so I was gonna take out his notebook and write and write down on it and like show it to the to the projection. Okay. It's following you thus far. Go. And uh write write down like is there a way to increase it to, to increase the power of the seal? If you attempted that, you would break the seal, not to increase. Mm. So I just write, write, write down the word fuck. <laughs> I agree. However, there is a way for you to be rid of it. I'm right. He's writing that down as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. I, I, I'm just going to say what he's, what he's saying, but he's writing it all down. Right, right. Of yeah. course, of course. Yeah. I get it. Just making sure that I don't fuck up here. <laughs> yeah. Mm. There are many ways you can get rid of spirits such as these. You can make deals with them. You can let them go. You can keep them where they are. But unfortunately, my power is waning in this area. I do not know how long this seal will hold. And I can sense magic from you. This creature is very familiar with hunting magic. Yeah, well, that's fun. However, mm -hmm. I can make this go away temporarily if you and I make a temporary deal. So deal with the devil or deal with the god. 
Either way, you're probably going to be fucked. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was with all the contracts today? I don't even have a good pen. <laughs> all right, listen. What the fuck? Hmm? Sorry, my Netflix decided to abruptly start playing. <laughs> okay, right. Came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> the deal of the deal just... came up. Mm. No, actually, it's playing Cobra Kai, but yeah, it's man. What? <laughs> Okay, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so I was going to think. Hmm. Use it as a spirit, correct? It is made of shadow and darkness. It, it truly is... has no form. So what is keeping it bound to this realm? The body it possesses. It is capable of possessing a body and being coming that person perfectly. That it eats good. them from the inside out, hmm. consuming their bone, their muscle, their internal organs, their soul until it is just skin left. So basically, it's kind of a creature, kind of like a body snatcher. Mm -hmm. You know, where like the, like the like those skin suits that you see that just flop over after someone's done so using. So that's it. why he was like in the captain's quarters. The body it is currently possessing is of the captain himself. I guess it was in the quarters. Unfortunately, the captain he didn't make it out in time, so he decided to lock himself up in the quarters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right then. Those are the things. Okay, so it's locked. It's locked in there. Can't increase the lock. The lock will eventually break on its own. The deal is very simple. Mm -hmm. I will tell you the details, and you can disagree or agree. It is all up to you. I will not force you. Fine. What is it? I simply want you in return for me making this problem go away. I Temporarily. simply yes. Mm -hmm. I simply want you to. Get me one singular item and throw it into the ocean. It's a very particular item, so I need it. That's all you have to do. I want I you, once you kill that necromancer that I know that you have currently on a mission for, he's been wreaking havoc on the nearby swamp areas, I may be a god of the sea, but I'm in control of all the oceans and the waters. And he's infecting it. So if you could get me his necklace, that is all I desire. My question is how temporary? I can guarantee you safety for at least three months. But yes, that would mean though that once this thing is free, we're very likely to be on the list. Unlikely, because it first has to get approval from Asmodeus. Mm. What's so special about this necklace? You are of his kin, even though you are a half breed. What's so special about his necklace? Call me that. What? Call me that again, and I'm releasing this thing out of spite. Hmm. The necklace originally belonged to the ocean. The necromancer scavenged it. It did not belong to him. It belonged to the dead that he stole it off. From. It is not magical. It belongs to the dead that belongs on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. So merely a trinket from a dead sailor. Not any dead sailor. That boy was like a son to me. He died a very peaceful life. I just simply want it back where it belongs. Okay, before we're doing it, I would like to try and insight this thing. See if there's any... It, like, see if it might be hiding anything else. Yeah, of course. <laughs> insight. You're inciting a god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's oh. relevant. Yep. Uh, so for, as far as you know, he's telling the absolute truth. <sighs> well, we're heading that way anyway, so fine. You have a deal. Very well. Oh. All I oh. ask is for you to evacuate this entire ship. You have five minutes. All right. All right then. He raises his hand from, from it, looks at it like curiously, and goes, "Hmm." I think I can open this, but I believe I might need some t some of my t tools from outside. He's saying, he's saying this out, out loud, by the way. Right, of course. Uh, gentlemen, uh, do you mind helping, helping me transport? Tra 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 do you mind helping me transport them? Wink, winks at them. Sure. All right. Now let's go. Let's 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 move, let's go quickly, just to make sure that um we can get this get, get this get this done in prompt time. Uh, like, do you head up and notify the others? Yeah, he heads up. He's gonna head head up. He's gonna head up. Like walk up. He's gonna walk up the stairs quickly. Look at everyone else. Okay, goes. Well, we're leaving. 
Uh, like I say, like, 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 yeah, before we even goes. Uh, so, do you mind uh, esco escort, uh, escorting me outside for a minute? I just need to talk to you off the boat. Wait, what? Quickly. No time to explain. Uh, as we're leaving, uh, I, I just want to take a, a quick scan and see if uh, there's anything that I can snatch of value or anything interesting. As you're running off, give me a per investigation check. Yeah. It was. But yeah, since this thing can read, like, as far as we're aware, this thing can read mind size. It's basically trying to keep make it so nobody knows what he's up to, so they can't <laughs> slip the nobody can access so the information of the creature before we leave. You, what was <laughs> down there? Yeah, well, I'll, exp I'll explain. I'll explain. I'll explain to which when we're outside. Uh you managed to uh, snatch a orb. Okay. Well, I can find on one if I roll as well. See, so I can find on the way out. Yeah, sure. Bishop and Gershon. Nineteen. Ooh. Um, you let's see here. Nineteen investigation at your work. Oh, you find a interesting little trinket. Um, it is in the shape of a two of what looks to be a very beautifully crafted um uh, pyramid. Nice, a little pedestal. Nice desk toy. As yeah. you all rush off, yeah, Captain like Charles so like, is like. like Grabbing into his like hat a, as you're like running off. Yeah, it keeps into a fast walk, but as we like get get further and further away, it's just like just start sprinting. <laughs> Wait, what? Where you, what? I'm uh, just going to go get some stuff. Quick, follow me quickly now. <laughs> as you run off, you like turn back to like see if the if the um ship starts to do anything interesting, and you see it like starting to shimmer and distort. What the hell? Can I get wisdom saving throws from everybody? No. Uh, 19. Oof. Three! <laughs> That's oh, not God, please, good. Please don't have two player deaths. Uh, no. No. Um, mm -hmm. However, you see in your mind's eye, Halkin and Rita, as you're running away from this place, you all hear the voice, but only Rita and Tolkien can see the face in their mind's eye as you hear a vo the voice of the phantom saying, That was a test. As I will show you the phantom. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, Lord. load. There we go. Oh, great. <laughs> as it loads. Oh, great. Oh, no. This is the T first time Rita heard it said C. That they yeah. Test of what? The ship is completely gone now. Rita would turn and pull out her dagger towards the others. What in the heck did you just do? I'm still okay, running. Okay, 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 okay. To quickly explain it, there was a murderous demon in the devil. downstairs. Well, devil, whatever, semantics. Murderous, mur murderous devil ghost in the locked, lock, locked in the basement. What? Uh, apparently, what? his magic can. Yes, apparently, it is sealed in there, but its magic can escape. So I managed to find a way to get rid of it, so it would, couldn't, ha so, so it couldn't harm us or anyone else. Because if, let's be honest, if that thing had gotten out, it might have just, it might have just killed us later on. It still will. Yeah. Are you? An idiot. Oh, I'm sorry. What was your... What, what would you have done? Let it go. I'm sorry. I don't take chances of having don't my take life chances. killed. Especially somebody who made said choice for me. You don't take chances. You would have, you would have taken the chance of releasing a, a murderous <gasps> devil. All devils are murderous. Not all. Isn't that racist? <laughs> No, not all devils are murderous. This wasn't a very particular. This one literally, its entire existence is to murder. <laughs> Releasing something like that is not exactly the greatest idea. Though the fact that this is that was a test. That we I don't really we know. Fail. Good job. How would you fail a test like that? Oh yes, I'm just going to open up this door for you and release you, with no questions asked. Yes, I feel like that's. I feel like it's more more of a failure of a test than anything. Any any idiot can 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 open a door when promise something when when promises are made. Next time something like this happens, don't take it upon yourself to choose for all of us. If I had if I had said anything, that creature would have known what's going on, and possibly just killed us there and then. If he did, he would have done it in the night. N no, it wouldn't have because I wanted someone to open the door for it. If it had just killed us there and then, 
before knowing we wouldn't open it, then it would have just it would have killed it. Then it wanted something to us and wanted to open the door. That's why it it let us let us rest there. It wanted to, it wanted us to release it. If we are dead, we can't do that. But I'm all point aside. All I'm wondering is what was the test for? I mean. I know we just saw the phantom, but he let us go. Don't you guys notice that? He let us go. Gave us, I don't know how much time, but he at least got, got us off the ship before the ship disappeared. Oh, well, I got us off the uh, ship. That, this, this is weird. Well, yes. Yes. Um, oh, yes. Wonderful. I, I would, I call Sorry, that would you rather a, be dead, right? We're not dead. I, I call that a win in my book. At least we're, we're not, not dead now. And we're, we can we're, deal with any problems that pop up later. Right now, we're alive. The creature that threatened us is gone, and we can move on. I mean, we still have a a bounty to take care of, so... Yeah, exactly. We also have a new bounty to take care of. Apparently there's some simple trinket of a necklace around the necromancer's neck that, the, that, that, that we need to throw into the ocean now. To who? To wait what? Who did you uh, make a deal? Well, apparently some emissary of Poseidon. Apparently he was the one who set up, set up, set up the seal for the monster in the first place. I don't know. I, it's, it's been a long day. There's been lots of talks of deals and contracts. <sighs> uh, DM, quick, quick question. Uh, when we cast, or, uh, yes, yeah, so when we had cast Detect Magic, was it only the evil presence that we felt? Nothing else? Absolutely nothing else. There were no magical artifacts left on that on the board, uh, uh, anywhere on that ship. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm, I'm, well, sorry. Uh, so I'm more specifically asking uh, for the seal itself. Did the seal not have a magical presence? No, it does not. So uh, I turn to to Silas and which we, makes you question something. <laughs> so now that I'm recalling, the only thing we felt on that ship was the evil magic, the 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 evil deity phantom devil whatever you may call mm. you say you met you spoke to an emissary of poseidon mm -hmm. i didn't feel any divine presence on that ship <laughs> well, the, oh, i don't man. think you can detect divine magic wait we're stalking <laughs> with, with us it. right here do you keep running do you keep running away like, away from the group yeah. after the ship disappeared or i, I didn't say i stopped i kept running <laughs> oh okay oh yeah Talk it. stop it it's gone we're safe you come back now uh, would I be? I'd hear that, and I'd stop the distance where I'm at. I'm like, "You can come to me. I'm going it's nowhere near there. that cursed thing." Well, technically, the cursed thing's gone, so. So it looks. Oh, either way. Uh, let's just keep walking. Yes, as you say that, let's go to a quick break. Fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. Break time. Pull it back. Sorry. Hey. Hey. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Roll It Again. I be here. Uh, we're back from um, our break with our friend Captain Charles Blake, who managed to get here finally. Um, poor thing has trouble sleeping, so be easy on him. Zamia be a bitch. He's a precious little boy. Yes, he is. He's a precious little potato. Yes, he is. Anyway, I'm being weird. Uh, I also come back. You guys have finished running. And Charles, just so you let you know, I had to make a check for you too just so you're aware, to see whether or not you saw this creature's face, and you did, just so you're aware. So you know what it, it exactly, what its face looks like. I tell it to piss the fuck off. <laughs> if I die, I blame you and you. Hey, well, we're still alive at the very least, so that's a good sign. Yes, and like I mentioned previously, I mean, for some reason it, it led us off the ship, so uh, I say recover a little bit and then we keep on going and do our original yes. original mission our mission how far yes. away is the temple it's a good question temple is right ahead oh sure okay. we did run real far hey oh. temple be in it onward to victory the greatest question is where did that voice come from i can <laughs> uh. That's what I'm just assuming voice in your head is normal. No, no, no. It's <laughs> coming from a rat. Uh, it's actually coming from above you. Mm. Wait, wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, what? Yep, it's coming from above you. <laughs> Looks what up. is it? I'm aiming my bow at it. Devilish ahead. Devilish ahead. Is that a parrot? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Yes, it's you are a pretty bird. I shoot it's it. Oh, Jesus Christ! Give me a, give me a, give a, give me a fucking attack roll. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll hit. Roll damage. Uh, pretty. 
What do you have Dad. against freaking birds? Did it come down? He landed. Yes. I'm taking said bird. Hold it up. I say rations. We have pouches of just. You say you're eating leeches, so. <laughs> like. I oh, we have rations. We, ha we have rations already. In the oh yeah, there goes oh. that character sheet. Got to delete <laughs> that. <laughs> Charles Sorry. just goes. You know how to clean that, right? Hand it to Charles to clean it. How much are you gonna pay me? I won't take your rations that. at night. Hmm. You did you blatantly just say that? Yep. <laughs> hey, you've been taking me rations at night. <laughs> okay, well, consider that. Consider all right, because that, because that, two thousand gold, gold, I give you a down, gave, gave you, gave you a lot of da, da, a down payment. Now let's move on. <laughs> so we all right, you the forged bird. forward. Yeah, yes, I was going to start walking towards the temple. Okay, I was, all right. That's As you crazy. forge ahead, you hear the sounds of the swamp all around you. The cicada is going absolutely fucking bonkers. Uh oh, does uh we still have those malls, right? Yeah, those, why? Uh, under, yeah. Uh, so I was gonna look at those. Uh, so which of you so which of you are martially adept? Raise his hand. I mean I'm hefting a great axe, so I look at you and like, really? I have a warhammer. Yep. Uh <laughs> Warhammer? That's great. But you might want to take these as he took pulls out the two rusty moles from the cop from the undead and tosses them at the both. He'd be rusted. Yes, it might be rusted, but it's still very good at breaking bones. Pulls out Warhammer. I got this. Fair enough. I'm just going to look at them all and I'm going to stow it on my back, but I'm still going to have my great axe in my hands and just, mm. I'm going to just shake my head at you and just kind of goff. Fine, anyway. everyone. No. If run into the surgeons, start smash, start breaking some bones. As you continue heading forward through the swamp, you can pretty much find your way towards the temple because of its peak every so often peeking through the the tops of the trees you just head towards that direction about an hour passes and you eventually find yourself on the outskirts of a huge opening and it looks like it looks like hell was transported onto earth the earth around you is scorched there is nothing green in that entire area the even the temple has been scorched I, this um, is, gonna is there any movement like outside the temple uh you mean besides the hundreds of undead currently outside that's what i was asking yes yeah. yeah um you also see um what looks to be it hasn't been raised yet but it looks like it has been pulled towards the entrance as if it's about to be worked on there looks to be the skeleton skull of a beholder what is that as a mighty That'd big skull there also appears to be many other skull lizardmen skull uh, like lizardmen skeletons you know all sorts of species um those with there. i'm sorry animated or just laying there just laying there okay how big are these skulls? Um, the beholder? Yeah. About the size of you. They're yeah. pretty big. Beholders are fucking massive. Yeah. So it could fit one person, right? Yeah, basically. Um, those mo who are most proficient in magic, give me arcana checks. I what me brain tell me? You Bloody hell, I got an arcana. <laughs> an in negative int. Yep. <laughs> Why? Why not? Exactly. <laughs> I be a magic caster too, and undead be me, me shtick as a, a freaking cleric. <laughs> Silas, I'm waiting on you. Oh, loose. Silas. Bloody fucking hell. Silas, dear. Ooh, Silas, hello. Uh, uh. <laughs> God, why? It's not, please. I don't know, I was just being stupid, okay? Yeah. Yes. There you Rawr, X3 nuzzles. Ooh, we are not rawr. reading copy pasta. What? That's a copy pasta. Don't, <laughs> don't, just don't look it up. It's no, we're done. We're stopping. <laughs> I will mute. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh <laughs> no. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. Wow. Okay. I when the dumb one knows. <laughs> it, it, it always has to balance out. You. That is true. We've been having that twice and that once all today. Yeah. I don't know why that's good. That's also, that's my second. My second. That's my second. That one on an arcane check today. Yeah, I know. That's what I just said. On two good arcane Lord. checks. Yeah. I mean, you have a plus five. This shouldn't be happening yeah. to you. Yeah. <laughs> I know you mean. 
So uh, technically, that's the third nat one on an Arcana check. Yeah, Arcana isn't just not great for the, this week. So, um, Sam yep. and Charles, um, you, as you're looking around, you can sense the magic is very prominent in this area, and you can. The area is sick with Arcana, like. It has been heavily tainted with a necromantic feel. It is this this area is dying and it is quickly infecting the area around it. Um, you see, um, actually, you feel it before you see it, uh, Sam. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see um, the the item that you are after. Is um, it a, wait, so is it just out in the in the fields or? No, uh, the gem you see is currently embedded inside of the skull of what looks to be a ramshackle, like, sort of skeleton. It appears not to be animated. However, like, you see the bones twitching every so often, so you know it's, like, been animated, but it's not currently moving. Uh, There's all sorts of bones from all sorts of different creatures. Uh, I point that out to both Silas and uh, Toklin about the, where the location is. Okay. Do I happen to see the necromancer anywhere? Uh, you can actually... Um, give me a perception check. Yeah. That's pretty good. You can see him is currently adjusting the giant pile of bones that, that it has the gem in it. And what he, the, I'm sorry, what, is the, what does the gem look like? Let me s- reveal it to you. Actually, I can't show what the name is, so I'm going to keep it as a general since you guys are the only ones who know its real name. But I'm going to show you it. So does that match the picture of what me, Silas and Sam were sent here to do? Yes, exactly. I start. Sh- I grab Silas by the shoulder and start shaking him and pointing at it. Yes, <laughs> like yeah, that, see. that, that what I, I uh, I kind of turn around and kind of whisper to him, the job. That was That's why we're here. The job. Yes, but we, we have to get rid of the necromancer first. Yeah, we have to get rid of the necromancer first. And it As, looks like a, a direct assault is going to yeah. be effective. Yeah. As you these. see um, him working on this, sorry for interrupting, by the way. Right. You see him like activate his magical staff, pound it against the ground and you guys see the giant pile of bones start gathering together and forming a creature as you see the bones form a very unique creature that i homebrewed yeah. it is known <laughs> no. <laughs> no that would be badass <laughs> no uh so basically it will be known as a bone chimera and that's where we're going to end the session. We will have the stars before midnight tonight. This is a breathtaking pace.